So this is um, a weather fax station. This is actually New Orleans, Louisiana fax, weather fax broadcast. And it's on 17146. Uh, but I tuned down to uh, get the proper tone and upper sideband. And using the uh, Navtex decoder, uh, Android Navtex decoder, um, you could see that it's decoding the weather chart just outside like this in the tablet using just a microphone input near the radio speaker and it's decoding the weather chart that you see here slowly this is actually very cool you know thinking about how you needed like you know big computer or, or some some specialized hardware back in the 80s to do this and um, thinking that, you know, I never thought that I would be able to be somewhere in the middle of a park <clears throat> and running a tablet and a portable radio and just decoding these weather charts is just amazing when you think about it. That's the uh, end of the broadcast. I'm going to try something here. We're going to put it in the automatic mode. In automatic mode, it should technically, if they start a new um, broadcast, well, right now you're seeing my phone in my face, but <laughs> if uh, they start a new broadcast, it should detect it automatically and start. Uh, we'll see if they start another one. So, uh, New Orleans, Louisiana, weather facts on 17146 technically but uh, hearing it of course for the proper tone on 17144.5 here upper sideband using an app on my Android tablet which is uh, decoding so let's see if they have a new signal I'm gonna wait for still another short they don't oh well and of course in the background you're hearing uh, Port of Montreal there's apparently a boat that the motors don't uh, work anymore and it's drifting on the uh, St. Lawrence River and now they're trying to find a way to uh, get to the boat and try to to help the uh, the crew that just just can't do anything here we go Now synchronizing. It is cool when you think about it, what we could do today. Here we go. Recording image. There we go.
And here we are, we're getting another chart here. Very clean to code, but we gotta say that the signal's pretty powerful. And the fact, once again, that there's no noise here, it helps in making a very clear signal. It's not that the signal is maybe that strong, it's because it's just not noisy. Uh, if I would do the same thing at home, I probably would have a hard time with the decode because of the noise in the background. So I hope you guys love the videos. We'll try to have more. I'm going to find a new spot. I'd like to find a spot with where I see the, the water more because I want to see the boats and I'll probably continue the videos there. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.